welcome to another Ten Thumbs, okay? Today we're doing another song by my current favorite band in the world, Devil Makes Three. If you like Devil Makes Three, you like the song, check the links below. We did old number seven already, okay? So rock that one out. Today we're doing Graveyard, okay? For everyone who has a graveyard full of dreams. Now I couldn't quite get a little, little nuance that they do in there with the rolling bass on the guitar, but I did my very best and I think that you're going to like this ukulele arrangement. Okay, so grab your ukulele, grab your brain, grab your attention span when you have all three of them. Follow me into the graveyard of this song. Alright, Devil Makes Three. First off, if you're listening to this, you know who they are. Congratulations, because that band is so good. I really can't get enough of them. Um, and if by chance you stumbled on this and you never heard of them, well, I'm very, very happy to introduce you to them because these guys rock. All right, really, really good stuff. Three really talented musicians. Now, I have a tendency to play this song a little faster than it is. I listened to a live version today and it's a little slower, but because the picking is so intense and we'll get to that, sometimes I have a tendency to speed up. You might have the same problem. Let's start from the beginning. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's look at the chords. Ah, it's a B. Okay. Ah, it's back. All right. So the chords are A minor. A minor. One time Keith Richards said, I don't like minor chords. I think they sound Chinese, which I think is pretty stupid, but Rolling Stones is still a pretty good band. D minor. D minor. The saddest of all chords. G major and E major. Now, E major, technically in this key, that three should be, got another bug on me, that three should be in E minor, but like one more cup of coffee, like hit the road jack, they actually have the major third in that chord to make it the E major. If you look at tabs on the internet, a lot of them get that wrong, okay? so. Every, we're going to be doing two things. We're either going to be on this high string, on our G string with our thumb going down, or we're going to be using our pointer, middle, and ring finger to pull up on the other three strings, okay? But everything happens at the same tempo. So let's say it's basically quarter beats. So if this is a quarter beat, then this is a quarter beat. Maybe the order gets a little jumbled but the, the, the time is the same. So once you get it down, it should be pretty easy. It holds on the A minor for two bars, so we're gonna start there. And that goes down with your thumb, and then we're gonna count that as one, and then with these three fingers, two, three, four. So it goes one, two, three, four. And then it alternates, thumb, pull, thumb, pull, or one, two, three, four. Put that together and it looks like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that happens twice. So I'm going to play it for you and I'm not going to count it. If you got it, go ahead and play along. From there we go to the D minor and the same pattern happens but it only happens once so it goes thumb two three four thumb two three four let's put that together G thumb one two three E thumb one two three and that's the whole song so let's go through it together So the part that's going to give you the most trouble is probably going to be the down, pluck, 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 or going to that E. For me it helps because when I think of the G, I have my middle finger in the same spot that I'm going to for my E. So try to use that as a pivot finger to go from your G to your E. And that'll help a lot. Alright? So let's play through it one more time together. Devil 
makes three. Graveyard, graveyard full of dreams. Don't let learning this song or the ukulele be in your graveyard of dreams. You can do it 10 minutes a day, that's all it takes. All right, until next time. All right, graveyard. Devil Makes Three, ukulele, you got all three of those things right now, congratulations. Um, pretty basic song, pretty simple loop, and now you can rock it out, campfire classic, get a friend to play the guitar. The band is two guitars and a stand-up bass, so one ukulele and a guitar and a stand-up bass would sound excellent, okay? Now the goal at Ten Thumbs isn't to teach you a song, it's to teach you how to make the music that you want to make. So subscribe, check us out on our other social medias, check us out on Facebook, check us out on Twitter. We're changing ideas, we're exchanging songs, and we're just rocking and rolling. That's the whole idea, okay? But until next time, just keep on yuking.